Well, this is one of the major area in every competitive exam. I'll take a simple example right here. This is the revenue of the organization called the wallet. And this period is mentioned as Q17, that is quarter one in the year 2017. This is quarter two, 2017, quarter three, quarter four. Now, this is quarter one, 2018, and quarter two, 2018. Usually, when you get a tabular format data, and most of the time, while 70% of the time in data interpretation, the questions are dealing with, do you have any idea what that? It's dealing with percentages. Doesn't matter it's a tabular format data, or it's a pie chart, or it's like histogram, or any kind of chart, even if it is line chart. Most of the time, the data would be dealing with percentages. Now, how do you this calculate the percentage in this case? From Q1 to Q2, Q17 to Q27, the revenue is in, in thousands. That means it is 60,000. This is 90,000. This is what? 120,000. 120,000 means 120,000. 150,000. 180,000, so 1 lakh 80,000, 210,000, 2 lakh 10,000, right? So what is the percentage increase from Q1.7 to Q2.7? So 60 became 90. So what's the increase? So how do you calculate it? 60 became 90. The normal way of calculation, the mathematical way of calculation, which I don't prefer at all, but I just show you that, 60 became 90, well, the data, we have to calculate that increase. The actual increase is what? 60 to 90. So, well, 90 minus 60 and the whole divided by where that increase come from? From 60. The actually, the base year, we'll take it as this is the first year, first period over here. That's a base year. From base year, to the next year, so 60 to 90. So what is it? The base year will be taken as 60 into 100 in order to convert that into percentage. So this is 60 mi 90 minus 60, it's 30. 30 by 60 into 100. So 30 by 60, 3 by 6, it is what? 1 by 2, 1 by 2 into 100, so that's 50 percentage. However, when it comes to actual calculations, data interpretation, this is not the method we use. I'll show you that. 60 to 90, what is it? The increase is 30. And 30, and take the base year. Base year is 60, so 30 by 60. And 30 by 60 means what? 30 by 60 of 100, so that one by two of 100. So if you get one by two here, 30 by 60, that is what? 1 by 2. 1 by 2 means 50 percentage. 1 by 2 is what? 50 percentage. Every time. Every time when you get a figure, which is approximately what? 1 by 2, we'll convert that into 50 percentage. For example, like uh, another situation, a company ABC. The first year, their revenue is like uh, the year 1, year 2. The revenue is, let's say, 80, 80 crores. And the next year, the revenue is 120 crores. So what is the percentage increase? 80 to 120, what is the increase? 40. 40 and what's the base year? 80. So 40 by 80, 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is months. 50 percentage. So actually this increases what? 50 percentage. So look at these columns. These are percentage columns. 60 to 90, what is it? 50 percentage. So we'll write it over in this column. 50 percentage. Well, this column, do you have any percentage increase? 60 is the first quarter revenue and before the revenue is not given. So well, that 60 is increased from where? We have no idea. So with this column, we'll keep this vacant. All right, 60 to 90, 50 percentage next year. Quarter 2.7 to quarter 3.7. Uh, 
So 90 became 120. 90 to 120, what is the difference? 90 plus 30 is 120. So 90 plus 30. So what is this? 30. So increases 30. And that 30 divided by base year. Base year is what? 90. So 30 divided by 90 is what? 1 by 3. 1 by 3 is what? 1 by 3 of 100. So 1 by 3 is, I'll just write it as 1 by 3, 33.33 percentage. So every time you see this 1 by 3, 1 by 3 of 100. So you have to multiply that with 100 as well. So these are all mental calculation. 1 by 3 is what? 33.3 percentage. Now next one. Quarter 3.7 to quarter 4.7. So 120 to 150. So 120 to 150, again, what is the increase? 30 is the increase. However, what is the base year? 120. In this case, 120 is the base year. 30 is the increase. However, base year is 120 in this case. So 30 by 120 or 3 by 12, that become 1 by 4. 1 by 4 of 100 is what? 25 percentage. So 1 by 4 is 25 percentage. So from here, quarter 3.7 to 4.7, the increase is 25 percentage. See that? Now, 2017 is completed. This is quarter 1, 2018. So from quarter 4.7 to quarter 1.8, so 150 became 180. These are continuous period. In the quarter, fourth quarter of 2017, then it comes the first quarter of 2018. So it goes continuously. So 150 to 180. What's the actual increase? Again, that's 30. And the 30, what's the base here? 30 by 150. 30 by 150, see that? 3 by 15. 3 by 15 is what? 1 by 5. 1 by 5 of 100, 20 percentage. So that is 20 percentage. So this case, what is it? 1 by 5. So increase 150 to 180. That's 30 increase. Base here is 150. So the actual increase is 20 percentage. All right? Now, 180 to 210. Again, the increase is what? 30. Actual increase is 30. But this case, base here is what? 180. So 30 by 180. 3 by 18. 3 by 18 is 1 by 6. 1 by 6 of 100 is what? 16.6 percentage. So this case, the increase is 16.6 percentage.